In this video, we'll show you six ETFs that have the potential to pay your rent. We'll show you a risk-free ETF and then slightly risky ETFs, but a huge upside return. In the end, we'll show you an ETF that will need the lowest amount of your budget and still pay for your rent. John, like many of us, is tired of spending his money on rent every month, so he starts thinking about investing his savings in ETFs that can give him monthly rent-like payments. He's aiming for $1,500 every month to take care of his rent expenses, and John's got a plan. He wants to put his savings to work for him. Instead of just watching his money go toward rent, he's thinking about making his money do some extra work. He's looking at these things called ETFs, which are like investment tools that can give him money regularly, kind of like rent itself. Navigating high-yield ETFs is a bit of a juggling act. Sure, stocks with big payouts sound tempting, offering two, three, even five times more than the S&P 500, especially in volatile times like 2022. But the thing is, there are no sure things in the world of investing. And with interest rates going up this year, some investors who used to think only about stocks when interest rates were low are now looking at the bond market again. Luckily, we now have an alternative. ETFs. Before seeing our top picks for the year, what are ETFs and how do they work? ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are like a mix between stocks and investment funds. They track things like stock indexes, groups of stocks, gold, or bonds. Imagine a gold ETF. Its value goes up and down with the price of gold. You can buy or sell ETFs on the stock exchange just like buying or selling stocks. The price changes all day as the things it's tracking change in value. Typically, ETFs will track a particular index, sector, commodity, or other assets. But unlike mutual funds, to make sure buying and selling are easy and fair, there are market makers, kind of like helpers who offer good prices. ETFs are bought and sold during stock market hours, and they have ticker symbols like stocks do. So ETFs are a simple way for people to invest in many things without needing to manage it themselves. Now that you know what ETFs are and how they work, let's see our top six ETFs for the year. These picks are arranged from an average return to some of the highest returns. This means each time we see the next ETF, it will need less investment to earn $1,500 per month. Starting at number six, we have Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF. Known by the ticker symbol KBWD, this ETF is one of the safest in the market with a current dividend yield of 10.91%. Based on this, if John wants to earn $1,500 per month, he needs to invest $164,986. This amount will pay him an annual dividend of $18,000, which means $1,500 per month. So how does this ETF work? The Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF is a bit different from other funds in the financial world. It lets people invest in banks and similar companies that give out good extra money through dividends. The good thing about this ETF is that it's been consistently paying over 10% dividends for the past decade. The goal is to give investors a way to own a piece of these companies and receive a share of their profits through dividends. It's one of the go-to ETFs for investors who want to get more money from investments, especially from companies that pay dividends. The way they pick companies for this fund could give you a lot of extra money, maybe more than 10%. It's not for everyone, but if you're looking to make more money from your investments, it could help a lot. Next on the list is Global X Super Dividend ETF. Known by the ticker symbol SDIV, this ETF is our second safest pick for the ETF market, which pays an annual dividend of 12.67%. Based on this rate, for John to cover his rent, he needs to invest $142,068 today, which will, at this 12.67% dividend rate, pay him an annual dividend of $18,000 or $1,500 per month. This ETF has a special strategy. It invests in 100 companies from all over the world that pay the highest dividends, which explains its high dividend yield of over 12%. A peek into its holdings shows that this ETF has the heaviest allocation in the energy sector, about 25.4% of the portfolio. What's impressive is that this ETF has given out monthly dividends for 11 years. 
This means investors can count on getting regular income. By focusing on companies outside of the United States, the fund helps investors diversify their investments and earn more money. Now we move on to moderate risk level ETFs. At number four, we have ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. Known by the ticker symbol BITO, this ETF has a current dividend yield of 14.37%. This means for John to earn $1,500 per month, he needs to invest around $125,260. So what makes this ETF so special? The ProShares BITO does something a bit different. Instead of directly holding Bitcoin, it kind of bets on what might happen to its price in the future. The folks at ProShares who are pretty experienced in this stuff run this ETF. Here's how it works. BITO uses something called Bitcoin futures contracts. Think of these like promises to buy or sell Bitcoin at a certain price later on. It's like saying, hey, I'll buy Bitcoin from you in a few months at this price. So BITO doesn't actually own Bitcoin itself, but it tries to predict what might happen to its price using these contracts. Now, a thing to remember is that these contracts have an expiration date, like food that goes bad after a while. When they're about to expire, BITO has to get new ones, like getting fresh ones from the store. This can be a bit tricky because the prices of these contracts can change, and sometimes it might cost more to get new ones. This is called rollover risk, especially when the prices of futures contracts are going up over time. Next, at number three, we have... Simplify Volatility Premium ETF Known by the ticker symbol SVOL, this ETF can achieve high dividend yields of 16.8%. Based on this rate, if John wants to cover his monthly rent of $1,500, he has to invest $107,142. This ETF gives you money in a different way than usual. It does this by doing two things. It bets against a measure of market volatility going up and also has a way to protect itself if things go bad. The fund achieves its objective by shorting VIX futures while owning VIX calls to protect against adverse moves in VIX. Let's break it down. First, the ETF makes a bet that the level of VIX, that's volatility index, will go down. If it does, they make money. This is like betting against a roller coaster going up and down a lot but they also buy calls at the same time. Think of this like buying insurance. You're getting something called calls that help protect you if the market's volatility suddenly jumps a lot. It's like having a safety net. So the fund is doing two things at the same time, betting that volatility will go down, all while having a safety net in case it goes up suddenly. This combination helps the fund achieve its goal of making money in a special way while also being prepared for unexpected ups and downs in the market's volatility. Now we move on to slightly risky but high dividend yield ETFs like Granite Shares Bloomberg Commodity Broad Strategy No K1 ETF. Known by the ticker symbol COMB, C-O-M-B. This one is a slightly new ETF to the market, but has recently declared a dividend yield of 31.5%. Its recency means the investment is slightly on the riskier side, but the higher dividend yield more than covers it up. Based on that yield, to earn $1,500 per month, John only needs to invest $57,142, which is over $65,000 less than our previous SVOL ETF. So how does it manage such high yields? Comb is a bit like a tool that helps you invest in a bunch of different things all at once. These things are called commodities, such as gold, oil, and other raw materials that people use to make things. Here's how it works. Comb tries to follow the price movements of a bunch of different commodities. It's like watching how the prices of gold, oil, and other things go up and down. When these prices change, the value of comb changes too. Comb tries to follow a list of these ingredients called the Bloomberg Commodity Index, but sometimes it might pick things not on the list just to make sure there's a good mix. The index makes sure that no single ingredient or type of ingredient becomes too important. It's like making sure no one flavor takes over the whole dish. But what's even better is that Comb doesn't make you deal with complicated tax forms called K-1s. 
Comb is set up in a special way. It holds its investments in a place called the Cayman Islands, and it uses a special type of money tool to make sure everything is managed well. This way, when it comes to tax time, you won't have to deal with any complicated forms. Now, if you have found the video helpful so far and are thinking of investing in ETFs, you can join our free Discord community where the members help each other out with investing. Click the link in the bio to join. Okay, next up and topping our list is Crane Shares Quadratic Deflation ETF. Known by the ticker symbol BNDD, this ETF has an exceptional current dividend yield of 39.99%. Before showing John how much he needs to invest to never worry about his rent, let's see what makes this ETF special. This ETF is like a smart way to manage your money. It focuses on government bonds, which are kind of like loans to the government. But it's not just regular bonds. It's bonds that can do well when things like economic growth slow down or when prices start going down, which is called deflation. Here's how it works. Most of the ETF's money goes into long-term government bonds in the US. Think of it like lending money to the government for a long time. But it also does something clever. It uses special tools called options. These options work like safety nets that can catch the ETF if things go bad in the financial world. When the difference between short and long-term interest rates gets smaller because of things like lower inflation or deflation, these options can become more valuable. So when the economic weather gets stormy, this ETF could potentially do well. Back to how much John would need to invest based on a dividend yield of 39.99%. He would only need to invest $45,011. This amount will pay him an annual dividend of $18,000 or $1,500 per month. The cool thing is, this ETF could be a good way to balance out a regular investment mix and make it stronger. It might do well when other investments struggle, like during times of big ups and downs in the stock market. In this video, we talked about how much money you'd need to invest in a year to always have enough for rent. But what if you can wait longer? Can you get more than $5,000 every month? To find out, check out our video on dividend income from $15,000.